coming from a forestry and environmental program, so maybe the perspective might be a little bit biased, but if I look at the most important aspects in uh, development cooperation, of course, things like climate change are very important, then uh, protecting the environment, involving people, and developing value chains to improve livelihood of people is very important. And the third aspect is related to involve future generations or youth into the development process simply for the reason or so that they have the necessary mindset also to engage themselves in, yeah, in, in any development process. This matches actually with a number of priorities also set out by BMZ and it is, is matches with the priorities that we have been setting in our program for the next, for the next three years in Cameroon. The event here also also brings confirms a number of things and brings together again experiences that we can use in that aspect even from other from other projects and programs where for example policy advisory in a fragile context has been a major topic also for us to see okay how can we engage in in a in a in a discussion for political economy and, uh, and, and bringing all parties on board, not only the public sector, but also the private sector, as well as civil society organizations. Good example in our case, I think, is that we, will, we, are, we, we currently are setting the framework conditions for what we call non-timber forest products to be, to be processed by female cooperatives. So you need to imagine female cooperatives of 20 or 30 Women also who are processing uh, products like you may know, karite butter or shea butter um, from, from trees in the northern part of Cameroon into, into a, a, a raw material for cosmetic product or, or actually a nutritional product. So and they earn an additional living from these products also, which can maybe not earn a living for the whole family, but can sort of close a few gaps also to allow children uh, school children to go to school to have additional food for the household and basically improve livelihood of rural rural families. So framework conditions are set that this activity is promoted and supported in the political framework. They get technical advisory services to improve the technologies and we look at it from a market perspective including the private sector. There's definitely a long-term perspective to it also and things may not happen immediately you would need again to imagine so for example that these women groups also are well currently something like housewives also pe people who do that one in their spare time also it is not yet an economic activity so, so there is a lot of structuration also to be done and that takes time also to develop a business mindset to develop markets to structure value chains chains and on the basis of that also to improve framework conditions also that the public sector can actually put the necessary conditions in place that sort of this uh, emerging economic actors also have the right uh, conditions in place to, to, to go ahead. So looking at it, uh, that is something that will take a few years at least.